Elder Care Network is a small nonprofit organization in Lincoln County, and we own and operate seven small residential care homes. We have a couple of new services, and we're holding this open house today agency wide so that people can learn about our services. Our staff have done a wonderful job uh, making some delicious things for people to enjoy, refreshments. And we've decorated the homes with flowers and uh, the staff are um, uh, present and ready to chat with people and talk to family members and interested parties about what we can offer at our residential care homes. I think Hodgden Green and the Greens uh, is a very good organization. The reason why I feel that way is because it has a very personal touch to it. It's probably about as close to home as you can be without it being home. Um, I think people have a chance to interact with each other, to be out in the community if they so desire, but also to have a safe haven where their um, perhaps more dependent needs are met. Our homes are very small and very homey. Um, we give a lot of individual attention to the people who come to live here. Particularly with my mother, it was uh, a lot of caring that they gave to her, even at a time where probably her needs were even a little greater than what they would, might normally have. They really worked hard to help her out and, and gave me a lot of support in dealing with her. So it was that type of going the extra mile for her in care that was particularly important. When she got here, she became acclimated so that even when she had, on a couple of occasions, had to go to the hospital or whatever, she wanted to come back. And that was a real change in her attitude. She got to identify this in a very positive way, and particularly with certain people, certain staff members. Uh, for instance, Elijah, the cook, he, he was really, you know, extended himself for her, and, and he would refer to her as his babshi, you know, so which is grandma in Polish. And, you know, and that's how she uh, became very comfortable being here. But I think it's, it's the extra mile that they went for, you know, helping her to stay here and helping me too. So that's what I, what I appreciated. We really like to invite the community in to join us whether it's for activities or speakers or even a co senior college class that might be going on, we're always welcoming the community. This morning we had a young person playing violin in the dining room during the beginning of the open house and it was wonderful to listen to her. It's enjoyable to sit down sometimes with people and get into conversations. Um, I've been here sometimes for a bingo and just the humor and the intensity that people have in enjoying, you know, just in uh, participating and, and winning. And, you know, it's just fun to be around people and to help out, so. We are also um, wanting to spread the word about our two new programs. One of them is a new personal care agency, and the other is called Open Arms Respite Care which is a respite service that we're um, offering in all seven of our homes. So that if people are taking care of somebody at home 24 seven and they need a break, they can contact us and bring their loved one into our homes during the day, evenings, and even weekends too. So it's a pretty important service to give a break to somebody who's a 24 seven caregiver. You know, this, this is to me a good alternative because First of all, their parents wouldn't be isolated. They're going to be with other people, other residents, and they're going to get the kind of care that they need, somebody that's going to be there for them all the time. And I think that's kind of a peace of mind that you want to have at that particular point, that you know, your parent is getting the kind of care they need and that they're going to be supervised and have somebody there all the time and gives you peace of mind. So that's one of the major things I think that would be important, I think, to anybody.